In an engine, E85 is an ethanol gasoline fuel mix, usually with a ratio of 85 ethanol, 15% gasoline. It's sold at 320 gas stations in Michigan. According to E85Prices.com, the statewide average this morning is $4.07 a gallon for E85, and there are some even cheaper prices right here in Metro Detroit. This is a live look now at the Sunoco station at Southfield Road and 10 Mile Road in Southfield. And as you can see here, regular gasoline, $5.29 for cash, $5.39 if you're using your credit card. But look how low the prices are for E85, only $3.69 a gallon. Now this blend is not only saving drivers money, but one community as well. You don't feel as stressed when gas prices rise like they are now. Greg Donahoe and his family drive a 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan. It takes regular and E85 blends, saving him a lot of money since gas prices at the pump first started to jump. I would say that's since March, $200 at least by using uh, flex fuels. It's also been saving at least one community. All 30 cars that Westland PD uses is flex fuel capable, meaning it can take regular and E85 gasoline. This is an initiative that started 10 years ago, but I bet you're pretty happy right now <laughs> that you started it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's averaging like a $1.30 less than regular fuel. But going back like 30 days, we've purchased about 5,000 gallons of E85. And so that's uh, man, $6,500 in savings just in those 30 days. Saving money isn't the only upside. E85 is made from ethanol derived from corn. So it's better for the environment and makes the country less dependent on foreign entities. Flex fuel cars can take both E85 and regular gasoline. So if a station doesn't carry E85, you have options. Compared to an electric car, where charging stations can be in short supply. Here's the catch, though. You do have to have a flex fuel vehicle. Do not fill up with E85 if you don't. There could be lean conditions in your engine. Basically, uh, your engine's not getting enough fuel because there has to be a way to compensate because ethanol burns a little differently. Your engine has to be programmed to use it, or you could face engine damage. Patrick DeHaan with Gas Buddy suggests checking the car's manual to confirm what gasoline types the car can take. One potential downside, E85 gets less mileage than regular gas. However, it's a matter of crunching the numbers. I certainly do the math. Uh, I would say that if E85 is a 20% or greater discount to gasoline, that's when it may be worth it. Also, E85 can run in short supply. Their availability has been constrained at times. We came here a couple weeks ago and they had the pump shut off because he was out. Uh, another dealer, independent dealer I know who carries it, he's been out for uh, a couple of weeks. Now, E15 is another option for drivers and is more car friendly. Any car later than 2001 should be safe to fill up. Still, good idea to check the manual. However, just like E85, E15 runs an even shorter supply. And Keenan, Jen, very selfishly, I pitched the story to see if my car could take E85 because I've been driving past these gas stations yeah. where it's so cheap and my car cannot. So, oh. but, but it is, you know, it is a good option, especially if you're looking for a car, maybe buy a flex fuel car. Oh, yeah. without a doubt. I mean, there's certainly something to consider, and those prices are eye-catching, like two bucks cheaper a gallon. It's yeah. tempting. I drive by, and I'm like, don't ruin your car, Allie. <laughs> yes, don't ruin your car. That's much more expensive exactly. uh, than saving money on gas. One of, of the many ways people are trying to pivot right now, yeah. for sure.